Record. Right, I'm going to try and give this another go because we've got a lot to get through. I'm just doing a new update video. I tried to do this the other day but it wasn't working for me. So I'm going to try again. We're on the new GoPro Hero 11. Um, although the batteries don't hold a charge in this thing, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Let's get you moved over here a bit. Um, but this has got image stabilization and everything, so you should get a better image, but we've got a lot to go through. So I'm going to start off with some stuff I got for Christmas. My sister got me this. It's a Viking culture. All that stuck in it. Junk. Uh, Viking culture mug, and it has made a horn, bloody big cow, and uh, it's got the Fenrin engraved on it. It's really nice. I haven't used it for a drink yet. I'm going to be going a bit quick because I've got a lot to get through. I also got this which I wasn't overly happy with. Um, get the screen back on so I can see you're in frame. This is a, it's the novelty glass really, but it's so badly put together. Well, the actual bowl is crooked and considering this is a, a Nemesis Now product, where is it, hang on, it's all peeled, this is all peeling off somewhere. Now this is all peeling off at the bottom. And considering this is a Nemesis Now product, it was a bit disgusting. My sister with that mug also got me this, which is some mead. I haven't tried it yet, still sealed. I'm moving quickly because I do have a lot to get through. And I don't want the video going on for an hour. She also got me this. And if you look, you have to look into the center of it. This is gin, this is orange and gingerbread. Gin liqueur. But it's also, if I press the button, it lights up. I hope this is being shown, I can't see very well, but if you shake it, it's actually a snow globe with edible gold in the bottom, in it. Okay, love that. Now the piastre, oh, she also got me this, hold on. Oh, hang on, let me turn that out. Um, she also got me this. Now this has got a bit of a story to it. This is a decanter with a skull in it, but if you notice, if it shows up on here, there's that brown patch in there. Well, what happened was, this was sitting on the back of the cooker, and on the back of the cooker was a five kilo bag of sugar, and I put the wrong electric ring on, set light to the bag of sugar, which I didn't know about at the time, so I had a fire in the kitchen, and all this brown stuff inside here, because this was full of smoke inside there. This is all sugar. So I've got to try and figure out a way to clean this out. So what I'm thinking of doing is filling it with some sanitizer and hopefully it will dissolve it. I don't know if that's going to work. I might have ruined it, but sounds about right for me. But the, um, the piasta resistance thing my sister got me was this. This is a bottle of 1975 Bordeaux. Um, bottled on the year of my birth, pretty much. So I'm saving that at the moment, but it's in a really nice, um, I believe it's a rosewood box. It comes with all the tools and attachments. That was expensive. <laughs> Um, right, so that's the Christmassy stuff out of the way. I'm sorry for moving along a bit quick, but we have quite a bit to get through. Now, a lot of what's coming up next, Dave Partridge is to blame for this. <laughs> um, so I ordered this stout that he's just made. He's just done a video for it, um, which was the sticky toffee pudding um, stout. Now... 
when I opened the box, I was a little bit surprised. Hang on, let me move that so I can fold that. But how much stuff there is in this box. I mean, you get um, all your hops. I can smell it from here. You also get a bag of stoned dates, uh, lactose, uh, Nottingham yeast, Tonka beans, um, and you also get uh, gold syrup, treacle, and a little pot of brew day toffee flavor drops. Now, as I say, I can actually, I can literally. <laughs> I mean, this grain bag is sealed and I can smell it through the box. It's going to be epic. So we're going to be making this for Christmas. And we're going to put a few bottles aside for tasting throughout the, the year. But the bulk of it will be being kegged and being left until Christmas. That just smells fantastic. I also bought this. Well, this is all from Dark Rock. Um, except for, was it that I bought somewhere else? Or was that from Dark Rock? I can't remember where I bought that from. Anyway, these, all this lot's from Dark Rock. So we got a Munton's Export Stout. 40 pints, 23 litres. I also got, this is Dave, this is Dave's fault. Nectarin, Pow Ow. I also got the extract kit to go with it. Um, Rawaka. Yeah. Oh, that feels damp. I ain't leaking. I hope. No. Uh, Got a hop booster. I've never used one of these before. We've got a hop booster. We got Rawaka dry hop packet. And we got uh, 6G yeast premium made in the EU. So uh, up to 24 Celsius fermenting. So it's a, I don't know what brand of yeast that is. I'd rather pay a little bit more and get a decent quality yeast, but this is another Dave Partridge fault. Pina Colaga. Where are we making this? Uh, I also got this because I saw it flash up. Plum flavoured porter. Um, I got a party tap for my kegs. I got a degasser, more about this in a minute. That's for the, uh, what else have we got here? We have got, oh now these are the beer kit enhancers. I don't need to go through all of those. That's in beer kit enhancer, enhancer, enhancer. Right, those are just enhancers. Um, so I'm trying out these buckets from Dark Rock because well obviously the um, I used to get my buckets from Homebrew Online but obviously Homebrew Online isn't anymore it got bought out or they merged or something but their buckets I found were getting a bit flimsy um, these are the lids are a lot a lot stronger than the original lids and they have these really good grommets on them as well so I got one with a tap and one without a tap. Um, so I do plan to do quite a bit of brewing. This table I'm using at the moment is actually going to be the top of my bar when I build it. It's an old oak table and it's like a couple of hundred years old I think. Um, but it's, it's split, the planks are split down the middle in two places. Could fix it, but I haven't got room for this table, so. 
Right, so the degasser is for this. This is Luna Rosa Wine Experts Reserve. It makes six weeks, it makes um, 30 bottles of red wine. Just wanted to try it out. You get a massive bag of of grape juice in here. Now this grape juice, not like the cheaper kits, this actually has all the bits of grape in it and everything as well. So it's it's, it's an upgrade kit and you got all your finings. We also have oak chips. Uh, two bags of oak chips for aging. It's supposed to be really nice. That's where the degas is for. The degas, so it's 80 quid kit, right? Um, so that's what this is for. This is actually, for those of you who don't make wine, when you're, when you do the second racking of the wine for clearing and everything, you don't want any oxygen in it at all. So you attach one of these to a drill, spin it up till all the bubbles come out, and you will get no oxygen in your wine, which means it doesn't turn to vinegar. Um, so that's all the stuff I've bought, I think. I think that's everything. Um, as for the barroom build, it's coming along slowly, shall we say? I don't have a lot of room, so I am thinking about just plumping for the shed outside, which I might build over the summer. I haven't made any decisions on that yet. There is quite a lot to do. I've got three beer kits, two all grain kits and an extract kit, which are, I found in the cupboard are years old, but I checked the grains. They don't smell bad. There's no signs of mold on them. So hopefully they'll be all right. We need to try them out anyway. But I've got a lot of brewing to do. I got loads of all grain kits to get through. Uh, at the moment it's just space and time. So I have got two, oh, what is it now? I've got two Irish stout kits that are not Muntons, they are Coopers. I've got two Cooper stout kits because Dave again, <laughs> I uh, watched one of his videos way back where he took two kits and put it into one, but I've gone two kits and an enhancer. So I'm going to do that for this challenge they're doing on Brewtube official um, to try and get people brewing again. Although I've noticed that when I linked to my video in one of the things there, it's been set to moderator only. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I think that's everything. So I need to get this uploaded and edited. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. Um, not at the minute, not that I can think of at the minute anyway. But hopefully I'll have another brew day. Well, I will have a brew day video coming, but it's just an extract kit. It's not an all grain kit, so it's only going to be a short video. So right now I'm going to go and crack open a bottle of Hobgoblin IPA. And I'm going to relax for a bit because I've been doing jobs today and I'm knackered. And uh, I will catch you all next time. And if you can see to yourself, if you watch this video to the end, you know, if you could leave a, a thumbs up or a like, a comment, it helps the video get seen because I stopped making videos because nobody was watching them. So if you could, I'd appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.